Oh. Nudge, 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 nudge. Oh, man, 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 man. The price also needs to be a number. All right. So I guess we have another constraint. Oh, my God. And then, oh, man, oh, man. Ah. Let's just add in another constraint. Uh, um, 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 ISPN is a number. Price is a number. And then we're just going to go here. And we're going to actually create another one. Right? Say in price, set it equal to zero. 0, 0. 0.0 because it's a double. Sorry, sorry. Not in here. It's not an integer. It's a double. So double. And we need to go inside this try. And we're going to need to say price equals, instead of integer, we're going to use the wrapper class of the double, uh, in double primitive, which is called capital double dot parse, parse double. And it's basically the same thing. Except we're going to take in a text field price. Otherwise, this is also going to throw a number. Yeah, it throws a number format exception or a null pointer exception if the, str if the string is null. so we need to catch another type of exception no we're not going to catch this exception no 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 this is good this is good and instead of this thing here, we're just going to say ISBN or price is not or price is not a number because both of these can throw a number format exception. It can be this or this. But first, before we actually create our, uh, our book, we need to check if all of the text fields have been filled out. So even before all of this, we need to check if all the text fields are filled out. Uh, so, we get another Boolean. All right, so let's go ahead and create another Boolean. We're going to say um, all fields are filled. Set that to false for now. And now we need to check if all the fields are filled, even before this try. Right? So as a matter of fact, wrap this whole thing so if all the fields are filled now we can start checking all of this so wrap this whole try catch finally block inside this if statement alright 
Let me just comment this out. All right. So first, we need to check if all field, fields are filled. However, if all if uh, all fields are not filled, so else. We need to prompt the user to uh, fill out. Please fill out all non optional fields. First, we need to check if fields are all filled. Oh man, okay. So, if all right, the way we're going to check to see if all the fields are filled, and let me just comment this out for now. Is a uh, so if the user, say, enters some blank spaces like this, right? Or the user just enters a space. If the user just enters a space, even though nothing is here, what this text field is going to return, you know, I'm not even going to go through that. Uh, Actually, we missed something very important. Yeah, what if the user enters something like this? One, two, three, something like that. Let me just check. One second, let me just comment this out. But what if the user enters something like this, and then with a lot of spaces, what's going to happen? Oh, it's not a number. The way we, the way we, uh, or this, space this, delete this, ISBN or price is not a number, even though it is a number, it's a number, look, it's a, it's a damn number. And the way we're going to do that is, um, we need to get rid of these spaces, the trailing spaces. That's very simple to do. I'm just showing you what could go wrong. So as you can, right now, ISB Enterprise is not a number. Yeah, that's right. If I press one, one, it's good. But then if I press space and then press one, it's going to say ISBN is not a number. Well, why is that? It's one. Look, well, that's because I, you know, there's, I actually pressed space before answering one. So we don't want our user being frustrated over this. So every time we get the text from these text fields, we need to use the trim, the trim method. We're actually going to go back, and I'm sorry that I, sh I should have noticed this. We're going to go back to our open chooser and set the vim file method. Okay, we're going to check get the text field, set the text, that's okay. Because we're not actually getting the text. We only uh, care about when we're getting the text from the text field. So, add vim file to vim cache. Let's check that method, see if uh, we made that mistake over there. <laughs> 